Hi there team, my name's Adrian Cam. This is the Steady Cam. Steady Cam, surname Cam. It had to be, it was written in the stars. So we've got to go 15. The director says she wants horse 15. Let's move along with 15. Here we go, we're live. Nice and steady, get your breathing right. Now, the steady cam, camera, as we say, comes all the way down here to a monitor. There's the monitor, that's looking up at the subject, and mostly that subject is a horse. Now, we need to get rid of the movement when we're running. So we have this arm here. This arm bounces up and down, so I can run, and look at that lens, it's staying perfectly still. So listen, I've been very blessed in the time, guys. I've been all over the world with horse racing, bringing winning horses back. I did the first ever Dubai World Cup with Cigar from America. What an experience, it was absolutely hopping. Done every single Dubai World Cup since. Kentucky Derbys, I've been lucky enough to go to Breeders' Cups. I've been all around the globe with horse racing and this lovely camera. I actually, the workout comes with actually doing the job. I'm very blessed, I do the workout, just takes me through, you know what mate, carry 85, 100 pounds around every day, do four or five miles, it's amazing. The Cheltenham Gold Cup in England, we do four days solid, I'll do eight, seven, eight miles a day. One week later, a stone and a half lighter. That's what it works out of you, that's what it takes out of your system. That's when you're ready to go on holidays and look good around the pool. Keep it steady, keep the head steady. There we go guys, we're off there, we're off there. When I look at some of the horses though in the times that really stand out to me, Dubai Millennium, when he won the World Cup. I just love the bravery of the fact he originally was called Yasa, and then Sheikh Mohammed realized he potentially had a superstar. So he changed his name to Dubai Millennium to ensure that he won the Dubai World Cup in the Millennium year. And that to me was one of the most special nights to be in the middle of that throng of people with Dubai Millennium and Sheikh Mohammed and his dream had come true and the horse broke the course record. But most recently, I've been very blessed. I've did every single race of Frankel all around Britain. I was on Frankel's side from the start to the finish. I even went to him when he retired and I remember his poor stable lad. The box was empty, it gone off to stud and I saw the guy just crying his little eyes out. It was the best shot but yet the worst shot I've ever taken. And then also my favorite horse as well, See the Stars. As far as Franklin and See the Stars are concerned, for me, See the Stars wins. He went around the world, he stepped out of his comfort zone, he won at different distances. The owner was fantastic, he got so excited that sometimes he fainted. And remember one thing guys, when it comes to what I do, every 30 minutes, someone wins another race, and a group of different people are just over the moon. I sleep well on a night carrying 85 pounds around, but every single bit is worth it to be part of this great sport of ours.